Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the Sudoku Tudes series of puzzles where in set two, we now start the variant puzzles. And this is Odd the Path by Bremster. Most, all of these puzzles are going to be by me for a very long time. Um, yes, this is an odd Sudoku. Not that it's an odd Sudoku, but that it's an odd Sudoku. It uses the odd rules. Um, and in this one, I'm rather than just using full circles, what I do is I use bordered circles because normally the default odd circles, um, they interfere with the highlighting. Whereas you'll notice if I highlight this, um, you can still see your highlighting colors, but the, um, the circle is still visible, but the entire cell is shaded. Where normally with the default, um, formatting the gray circle is still most of the cell and you can't the highlighting is very hard to see so um, this is why I use this formatting instead it still looks mostly the same until you start highlighting and the highlighting becomes visible but let's get into the rules so we've got normal Sudoku rules apply so in every box in every row and in every column the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition and then digits in bordered circles must be odd that's the rules. Um, of course, there'll be a link below to this puzzle. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So um, the first thing we can do is select all of the circles um, and then mark those. I use yellow for odd as odd. Those digits must be odd. Um, and of course, all of the existing odd digits. So one, three, five, seven, and nine must also be odd. And then we can, so oh, this is also odd. And then we can select all of the the given even digits and mark those, I use blue as even. Um, and I use blue and yellow because they are incredibly contrasty. So we've already got five odd digits in this box and there are only five odd digits between one and nine, one, three, five, seven, and nine. So the four leftover digits must be the even digits. Um, we've got the five odd digits in row three already. So these must be even digits. Um, can I take this any further? We've already got the five odd digits in this column. So these must be even. We've got the five odd digits in row seven. So these must be even. I'm just trying to see. We've now got all four even, two, four, six, and eight are the only even digits. So these must be odd. Um, we've now got five odd digits in box four. So these must be even. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Can I take this any further? We've got all four evens in box two. So these must be odd. We now have all five odds in row two. So the, uh, these must be even. Uh, we've got all four evens in column nine, so these must be odd. We now have five odds in row six, so these must be even. We have five odds in box five. That one has been there from the beginning. So there's all four evens. These must be odd. We have five odds, so this must be even. This is an easy puzzle, as you can see, well, so far. Um, but the point of this was not to be super challenging. It was to introduce to the constraint. Five odds, so this must be even. Um, 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 can I take this any further yet? The answer is possibly yes. We've got four evens in row five. So this one is odd, giving us all five odds in box six. So these are even. And I don't remember if this was fully solvable, like fully colorable. Um, doesn't look like it, but we can do some stuff. Like this cell here sees one, three, seven, nine, and must be odd. So this is a five, and these digits here are the odd digits that haven't been placed in the box. So these are seven and nine. In this row, we haven't placed a one. So this digit can't be one, three, or seven. So this is five or nine only. Um, there is a nine here. So these three odd digits, uh, C5 and 9. So these are only from 1, 3, and 7, and this one sees a 3, so that's not a 3. This one sees a 7. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 9 must be in one of these. But, oh, 1, yeah, not 5 and 9 must be in those. So where is the 5 in this box? Because I can't put 5 in any of those, because 5 has to be down here, and that can't be a 5. So this is the 5, making that the 9, which makes that the 7 and that the 9, looking back saying that's not the 7, because the 7 can't be there. The 1, 3 makes that the 7, and now this is 1, 5, 9. And if this is 1, 5, 9, then this has to be 3 and 7. The 7 makes that the 3, which makes that the 7, which means this is the one and this is the three. So the two odd digits that haven't been placed in this box are one and nine. 
Okay, there's no nine here because we've already got a nine in the row. So these two even digits are two and six, and the six is looking down, making that the two and that the six. And the thing with an odd even puzzle is if you can figure out the coloring, then they're kind of two different puzzles because they don't overlap. The even digits will only interact with the even digits and the odd digits will only interact with the odd digits. But that's once you figure out the coloring. Um, these digits must be six and eight. So these digits must be two and four, and this digit must be the six. So this digit must be the four, and these digits must be the two and the eight that haven't been placed in either the box or the column. Um, this digit must be two or eight for the row. So one of those two has to be a six and it can't be there. So this is the six, this is two or eight. This is two or eight for the row, but the eight makes that the two, which jumps across making that the eight, which makes that the two, which makes that the eight, which makes that the two. In this row, these have to be four and eight and that works for the box, but the same eight looks up making that the four and that the eight. These two digits for the column have to be four and eight, but the four looks across making that the eight and that the four. The eight looks back making that the six and that the eight. This can only be two or six. One of these two has to be an eight for the row, and this eight looks up saying it's not there, so that's the eight, so this can only be two or six. One of those two has to be a four. That four basically says that's the two because that's the only even digit I haven't placed, making that the six and that the four. So now I can get some more coloring because I need to place an eight in this column. It has to be in one of those two, but that eight says it's not there. That's the eight and that is the last even digit. So this has to be odd. So this has to be the two that hasn't been placed in the column, making that the four and that the two. And I have to put a six in one of those two. And this, now this row has all of its odd. This is the last four. Okay, I have to put a six in one of those two. Yeah, the six looks back making that the two. And there's a six in one of those two. So I need to figure that out at some point. How I do that is probably gonna be figuring out where the odd digits need to go because this is a five, six pair. The only digits that haven't been placed in the box. So this digit sees one, three, and seven. So this is only five or nine. I need to put a three in. Yeah, these are three, five, and nine for the column because I've got one and seven placed. Seven is in one of those two by Sudoku because of the two sevens looking into the box. But this seven is looking across saying not there. This is the seven. So these are one, five, and nine. And that one can't be a nine because of the nine looking down. This is a one or a five for the column. These are one, five, nine for the row. And this one can't be a one. And this one can't be a five. Ah, this one also can't be a nine. So that is the five and I can take five out of there. So these are only from one, three, seven. They're the th um, two, they're, because they can't be five or nine. The three is looking down saying that can't be the three. The seven is looking down saying that can't be the seven. Hmm, not quite broken open yet. So these are from 139 and must contain a three because they're the only odd digits that haven't been placed in this row. The nine looks down saying that can't be a nine. The one looks down saying that can't be a one. Seven has to be in one of those two by Sudoku. Hmm. Right, this has to be a five or a six because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this is a five or a six. And the five makes that the six. So that's the even digit. So this has, now I've got all four even, so this has to be odd. And the six is gonna look up making this the odd, this the even. So this has to be the six, this has to be the five. This is not the six. And now this is three or seven because it's one, three, seven, and it can't be a one. Okay, so now I've placed all of the odd and all of the even, and they're two separate puzzles, and I've already completed the even. So now I just need to sort the um, odd puzzle. The nine is looking up saying this isn't the nine. The nine has to be in one of those two. And I can ask the one five pair is basically telling me that's the nine. So there's no nine there or there. This is one, three or five, and it can't be a five. So it's only a one or a three. 
And this, this triple here is from 139, and that can't be a 9 because there's already a 9 in the row. So that's a 1-3 pair, making that the 9, which makes that the 1, looking down, making that the 5, and making that the 9. The 5... No, the seven looks across, making that the three, which makes that the one, which makes that the seven. Looking up saying that's not the seven, so that has to be the seven. This is a one five in the column. So the one five makes that the three and that the nine. The nine looks across, making that the one and that the nine. Uh, something, something. The three looks back, making that the one, which makes that the five and that the three. The three looks up, making that the five, which makes that the one and that the three. And the one looks across, making that the five and that the one. And that is odd the path. Not designed to be a particularly hard puzzle, but designed to teach the concepts of how odd and even work, how it can split the puzzle, um, a puzzle into two halves, um, and how odd and even can interact with each other. I like odd even puzzles. We did an entire pack called Polarizing Sudoku on this, and if you go to the links on most of my videos, you can go to my collections page, and Polarizing Sudoku is a whole pack um, based on parody. Um, but yeah, um, this I found, I, I wanted to do a nice introductory one. Tomorrow's puzzle is going to be an even puzzle and it will step up the difficulty a little. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and as always, good luck with your solving.